Hey guys, I'm Avail back again with another video on this IQ Neo 6. In this video, let's check on some of the gestures that you can use on your device, this IQ Neo 6, and I found that some of them are really useful. So I believe that this video is going to help you, and if it does, then do like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments because they mean a lot to me. So let's get started. To start with the gesture, simply go to settings and then scroll down, and here you have this shortcut and accessibility. Okay, first is screen capture. You can use gestures to you know capture screenshot how does it work let me show you this simply you know slide down with three fingers okay suppose I'm here on this page okay now this is the page now if I want to take the screenshot what I have to do simply slide down with three fingers and it's done now you can also take the long screenshot okay just let it load and then you can scroll down and take the whole screenshot okay this is how it works simple Next is Smart Split. Simply turn this on from here, enable screen split, turn this on and then what you have to do, again use three fingers, suppose I'm on this WhatsApp app, simply swipe up like this, okay? And now it is in split mode. Suppose if I want to use YouTube now, you can see that it works in split mode. But yes, uh, it can be done only if the particular app supports split screen, okay? If you want to go to full screen, simply slide it down like this, simple. Next is Smart Motion. If you tap here, you'll get these two options, Smart Screen On Off. This is a very common one. You get this on most of the devices nowadays. Simply double tap to lock and double tap to turn this on. Yeah, that's it. Now, if you go again, there you will see this uh, shortcut, then Smart Motion, okay, Smart Wake. Now, here you will get so many options. First one is Swipe Up to Unlock. Suppose this is locked now. And if I swipe up like this, okay, it will be turned on, okay, like this, unlocked. Next is Swipe Down to take a photo okay it will launch the camera app suppose it is locked now swipe down like this and it will open the camera app yeah so this is also quite handy if you're in need yeah then if you go to settings again shortcut then smart motion smart wake now these things will only work when the screen is locked next is you know draw M to play music suppose this music is on okay let me show this now it is off yeah, now if I draw M here, it will start the music, okay? Then if you do this horizontally, it will change the track. Like this. Yeah? So this can be also handy if you listen to music a lot, yeah? When the screen is locked, it can be used, okay? Settings again, then shortcuts, smart motions, smart wake. Then we have draw W to launch WhatsApp. Simply do this, okay? And it will launch the WhatsApp. But make sure that you have enabled, you know, this face ID, okay? Only then it will work seamlessly. Next is, let me show this, shortcuts, then smart motion, smart wake. Next is draw T, or this is F actually, not T. Now this is simply for Facebook. Yeah, that's it. Now you can see that it is logged. So I have to unlock it, then it will show you the app, okay? Next, we have dedicated option here, okay? Draw E to wake up any particular app that you can select from this list. Suppose I have selected, you know, this one, Amazon, okay? Now if I draw E here on the lock screen, it will open the Amazon app. Now you have to unlock first, yeah? So you have to enable the face ID, okay? Then it will work seamlessly without any problem, okay? So this is about the smart wake. Next, you can turn on the flashlight if you are on the home screen, yeah, by shaking the device. If you turn this on, this option, simply go to home screen now, okay? If I shake it, it will turn on the flashlight. But the drawback is that if you shake it again, it doesn't turn this off, okay? So this is actually of no use according to me. Next is quick actions. Here you can use this volume down button as a dedicated button, okay? Suppose if I want to turn on the flashlight using this, simply turn this on, okay? If I am on the lock screen now, simply press and hold it. You can see that it is on now. And if I press and hold it again, it will be off. Now it is actually good, yeah? Now you can record, you know, voice recording, then open camera, open Facebook, or you can assign any other app as well, yeah? The one that you use frequently. So finally, let's talk about the last gesture, which is one-handed mode. This one is a bit different on this one. If you turn this on, what do you have to do? Simply slide inward and then outward from the edge of your screen here, like this, okay? Now you can see that this small window is there, okay, the screen. You can move it here as well, and you can see that it can be really handy if you are in need of using the device with one hand. You know, even the other gesture navigation is also working without any problem, okay? So I think that this can be really handy. 
So guys, that's it in this video. And you let me know guys that um, which gesture you actually use on your device. Yeah, quite frequently. I found that this uh, music gesture is actually quite handy for me. Okay, because uh, this is something that I do a lot. I listen to music a lot. Yeah, so this is actually practically, you know, useful for me. Now you let me know which one is your favorite and whether you actually use gestures or not. Okay, let me know in the comments. And if you end up liking my videos, then do hit the subscribe button, like and share and, you know, share your thoughts in the comments as well. So till the next video, guys. Cheers.